unboxing video of Mod Martyr. This is a brand new game that comes in the set collection in hand management genre. It has to do with uh, the theme of art and paintings. Mod Martyr takes you on an immersive trip back to the artistic movements of the beginning of the 20th century, highlighting the sweet nostalgia of the narrow alleyways of Paris. In this game, of numbers, you will take the, one, the role of a painter and you will try to, muse, um, to get your muse to inspire you in order to create magnificent work and become a famous artist. Uh, with this card game there are tactics which needs to be the key when you need to sell your paintings and when you need to wait in order to make them value more and you'll experience a range of emotions and colors as well due to the nostalgic theme of the game. I like when games actually don't only sit on the theme, but they have a, on the mechanics, but they also uh, use the theme in a way that it complements the mechanics. And in this uh, set collection hand management card game, uh, they try to do that by indicating the struggle of the artist trying to sell at that age, difficult times, uh, their paintings and make um, uh, a living for themselves. So let's see what we have inside the box. First of all, this is a small uh, game. It plays around 20 minutes. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes, ages 8 and up, and it can accommodate from 2 to 5 players. This is the back of the box. It comes with the rule book, a deck of cards, they're quite big actually, and a punch board with tokens. So let's see uh, who is the designer. The designer of this game is Florian Siriex, if I'm pronouncing correctly, and the publisher. Uh, is um, indicated on the box. So let's see how we open the components and what's inside. First of all, these cards look very nice. They seem to fit the theme uh, lovely because it is a painting game, hadn't a management set collection game which uh, evolves around Painters trying to make themselves famous by selling uh, their paintings. So the paintings are in different uh, type of um, uh, advanced stages depending on how finished they are and their value increases while they get closer to the final painting. So let's see the art which is looks very nice. Uh, these are some cards, these should be the contracts I believe and these are the potential buyers. So this is the majority of the card, the paintings which have this backing. So let's um, see the art. This is finished, this is almost finished and then you can see going backwards, actually it should be the other way around. Starting from the idea, early designs and the final view. As you can see, all these have a value on the top. I like the fact that it's using art as a theme, as a theme this hand management set collection game. Beautiful art inspired from that era and those artists as well. And then we have this one. which is the last one. Okay, so there are four actual paintings in various uh, stages. The game comes with um, the contracts uh, where you're going to set them up in terms of, uh, let's first show you the collectors. These are the potential buyers for, uh, and they have a preference depending on uh, the type of painting so this one uh, you see it has green border so she wants she prefers this painting the yellow one they have a number and you stack them from higher going to from lower number going to the higher number like that this buyer wants to buy this painting and that's that so you're also going to get some uh, player aids which show you how you can either make this route, take this route or that route, there are two options and you have to follow it uh, either that side or that side 
we're going to make a how to play video to explain the game so this will be done soon stay tuned this looks very interesting and very fast paced game here we have the contracts where essentially you set them up uh, in a row starting with the white first then with the two gray and then with the two brown and uh, depending on uh, the number of paintings you sell then you are able to gain uh, to grab these uh, victory points as well and it's, they need to be different as indicated here so these are contracts are <laughs> uh, based on the theory and uh, the theme the story of the game uh, all the paintings are trying to make a deal via this person here which is represented by this standee this is leading Finnish cardstock actually which uh, they go at every collector trying to persuade them to on behalf of the artist to buy one of the paintings we have francs which is the currency of the game where in France after all in denominations of 1 5 and 10 the first player token which of course is a brush fitting and then we have those cards here as well which actually are part of this set that's it that's that, these are all the components of the game uh, looks very interesting looks a different uh, perspective and take on the take on the set collection hand management uh, genre looking forward to try it the theme is uh, intriguing of course it's a it's a card game it's a filler but uh, yet you're trying to impress uh, uh, collectors with your paintings uh, of course go via Ambroise Vollard the figurine which is uh, the, the dealer that they're going to try to persuade them to be sold or if you want just to make a uh, quick money you can sell uh, your um, let's say uh, services to the local newspaper and make paintings drawings there so that's that I uh, already read the rules looks very interesting looking forward to give it a try on the table and we'll come back with a quick uh, how to play video on the game shortly